that we aren't. Hi and welcome to Jokkmokk again. This time me and Matti are out on a short canoe trip and we left our home quite late in the evening, around 6 o'clock I think, and we're gonna spend the night in our hot tent. It's autumn here in Jokkmokk and all the colors are changing on the trees, so come on and join. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Hey, yummy! And all the colors. Yeah. So now the sun is going down and get this very warm and nice color. And there is a. You see the bird? It looked like a huge falcon actually. A big one. Yes, definitely a big falcon. Anyway, now the sun is setting down and we get this warm light and we also start getting the fall colors of the trees. So it's really, really beautiful. I had to paddle before I go into the rocks here. As you can see, the sun starts going down under the horizon and into the clouds far west. And directly we feel that the temperature starts dropping here right now. So it's cold. We are very soon at the place where a river come out here and then we're going to put up our camp there. And tonight we are going to use our seek outside Cimarron. It's a tent with a stove inside. So we will be warm and cozy tonight. Or at least as long as we keep the fire going. Tina tried to communicate with me. She probably tried to say it's not so easy to come into the land. Now, it, now she will do a kind of gymnastic part. We believe it's a good spot up there, flat. Oh, look, swans, whooper swans. These swans, they are here in March. They start coming and very soon they gathering and moving to the south. Stina is still doing her things. There is a stone we have to go and check. Not so bad for an old woman. For a, for a, for you made it good. I tried. She made it good. Yes. Yes. Now I have to check if there is a good campground. Look at your dog. Yeah. Where is he? He can find the campground. <gasps> Hey Yoni! Hey Yoni! Oh, it's a fireplace! As I said before, now the temperature start dropping quite fast actually. So we had to carry up all the stuff and then put up the tent and find a jacket to Stina. The jacket is in one of the big things. 
and we have tried to organize organize it a little bit but we have as much gear as we have we have so much gear with us as we usually have on the two week tour <laughs> we have you see it's one night two of these big ones two big camera bags and a small of these ones too that's crazy Now you see how it works out here. Ja. Om du sätter där först. Typ här nästan. Ja. Ja. Uh, this tent with this small titanium stove is really very very good but when we bought this tent we actually bought the lightest of the lightest stoves and that was one of our mistakes we should have taken a little bit more heavy one it's not many grams that is a different anyway we was just thinking that we wanted the light, lightweight stove and yeah, we got the lightweight stove. But it's a little bit tricky to build up like this. And when you're building stoves like this, dirty fingers. Always, always dirty fingers. If you don't have dirty fingers, you haven't built a stove. Let's see, this one should be there. And... This have also been better if... Um, if we have used this stove a lot. I can't really say that we have used it a lot. We have used it, but not a lot. And when you use things a lot, you learn how they work better <coughs> oh yes so and now this one should come inside here Oof. So, so probably some of you who know how to make this in a proper way will laugh now because maybe I haven't found out yet what's the best way to make this in. Wow, not super dirty. And yes, then the door on the stove. So, and this is fun. This is the chimney. This one is the real dirty one. And then... Small rings. Watch 
chimney. So while Matti is putting up the stove in the tent, me, Annie and Johnny will go and find some wood so we can make a fire. See if we can find some good firewood here. Johnny! Shoot on Johnny! Yeah! Oh! Look, this is from uh, beaver. Beaver eaten. We see both ends. In the bad, Annie. Annie! Oh, Annie is swimming. And we don't want the wet dog in the tent. past eight and the sun has set but it's still a really beautiful evening make pasta. With the pasta we're going to make a very simple um, tomato sauce with uh, sauce, uh, cabanos, mashed tomato and onion. When you do tomato or a barber you should not use aluminium pots. This aluminium pot is from Trangia and it's aluminium on the outside and stainless stainless steel on the inside. If you put acid like um, rhubarber or... Not rhubarber, it's called rubber. Rubber. Rhubarb. 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 <laughs> or <Rhubarb. laughs> tomatoes inside the aluminium pot. The acid takes uh, aluminium into the food and that's not good. So, but the pot will be very clean if you make tomato sauce in the aluminium pot. But anyway, this one is stainless steel inside and aluminium outside. So we will use that one for the tomato. <laughs> As you see, Johnny, Johnny really want to have some food now. They eat before we left home, so they don't need food now. But there is some. Annie is disappointed; she want food, and Johnny want a food. So, yeah, that's how life is. I think the pasta is ready. It's al dente. Good. Good. And I have a little bit of a tiny spoon. <laughs> But then you don't eat too fast. You only don't need a spoon. No. A 
she's sleeping and then the eyes look so strange sometimes. Now she wake up when I talk with her. Hey, Yanni. Hey. Oi, oi, oi. Ne, 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 ne. It's Yanni in the tent. Oh. Sometimes you get the brilliant idea that you should leave all the things outside like this during the night and especially in winter it's really bad because some days when you come out everything is covered with snow so you should always pack up everything don't leave any open thing outside during the night my coffee is done so with a cafe yeah, Anne and Yone want to go into the bed now. I stopped. Oops! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped the fire. I stopped. This is really lovely. Now, when we have the stove with the fire inside, it's drying out and it's already warm and we still have the door open. When we close the door, we fill up the stove and then go into the sleeping bag and sleep. You see, it's quite cold now. It's not frost, but it's uh, just a few degrees, few degrees, uh, plus celsius of course we're talking about and the water is warmer and because of that in the in the river and the lake there is a lot of condensation right here Touch the walls of the tent, you get really wet. Condensation. Yes. Now, give me tea or coffee. Um, yeah, thank you. We normally don't speak English with each other, but we speak English now when <laughs> the camera is on. <laughs> normally we speak Swedish, we are in Sweden. <laughs> but we used to speak English a lot, so it doesn't feel really weird actually. It's raining. 
Ja. Hm. You can hear some whoopers once. And this is so cute, I must show you. When we sitting in here and eating, someone sitting outside the door and waiting. Oh, two of them. Hey, Yummy. Then you end up with four sticks like this and they should be um, yeah, packed in a smart way, in a good way. Maybe this is something for Stina too. On this tour, both Stina and I have tried double blade paddles. And did you like it, Stina? No. We don't like it. We have seen so many YouTubers using double blade paddles in a Canadian canoe. And we don't enjoy it. In a kayak or in a packraft, yes. But in a canoe, no. Well, for me, it's because it's too short, the canoe is too wide. And also, you wet your pads totally with a double paddle, so it goes faster with a double uh, paddle, but no. <laughs> what we want to tell all of you out there is that half the paddle, twice the man. Woman. <laughs> Woman. Half the paddle, twice the person. Yeah. yeah.